It's time for the highlight reel. I'm going to speed through today's top political headlines and tell you why they matter all in 100 seconds. Catherine Clark took a big step to becoming the next member of Congress from Massachusetts on Tuesday. Clark is a state senator who won a Democratic primary in Massachusetts's fifth district. That is an open seat because Ed Markey, the former congressman, got elected to the Senate. Clark beat out six other Democratic candidates. She is a strong favorite to win the general election. This is a very Democratic district. Liz Cheney has outraised Wyoming Senator Mike Enzi. So Liz Cheney, the daughter of the former Vice President of the United States, raised more than $1 million in her first quarter as a candidate in her primary challenge to Enzi, who raised just over $800,000. Now, remember, it does not cost a lot of money to run ads in Wyoming. So a million dollars can get, go a long way. Another, and Terry McAuliffe has increased his fundraising lead over Ken Cuccinelli in the Virginia governor's race. So McAuliffe raised $6.2 million in September. That is a record for any gubernatorial candidate in Virginia ever. Cuccinelli raised about half that amount, $3.4 million in the month. The Virginia Public Assets Project says McAuliffe is going to raise $25 million. Warren Buffett says there should be no debt ceiling. So the Nebraska billionaire was on CNN Wednesday, and he said instead of just kicking the can down the road another few months, we should get rid of the can entirely. Uh, Buffett's argument is essentially that Congress should not have the ability to uh, veto or approve uh, debt ceiling payments, and the president should have the ability to pay the bills. The Houston Chronicle says it regrets endorsing Ted Cruz for Senate. In an editorial on Wednesday, they said they miss former Republican Texas Senator Kay Billy Hutchison, who they say knew the importance of reaching across the aisle. Now, the Chronicle endorsed Cruz in the general election in 2012, though they did endorse David Dewhurst, the lieutenant governor in the Republican primary. That's it for the highlight reel. If you think there's a story I should have included but didn't, tweet me using the hashtag in play.